They say history is written by the victors, but sometimes the truth slips through anyway. In 2013, scientists tested the DNA of a black man from South Carolina. His name, Albert Perry, and what they found in his blood left the entire scientific world speechless. Because his Y chromosome didn't just reveal African ancestry, it broke science's entire timeline of human origin. His DNA was so old, so ancient, and so unlike anything ever recorded, that researchers didn't even know it was human at first. One scientist described it as a lineage that shouldn't exist. Another admitted, we didn't know such lineages even existed. Dr. Michael Hammer, University of Arizona. That's not conspiracy. That's a direct quote from a published study in the American Journal of Human Genetics. Albert Perry's DNA was older than the Y chromosomes found in the oldest human fossils. We're talking about a genetic line that predates every single man we thought came first. Let me repeat that. This black man's DNA was older than Homo sapiens, older than the bones found in Ethiopia, older than the 300,000-year-old remains discovered in Morocco. The moment they saw it, scientists realized something terrifying. Everything we were taught about where humans came from and when they emerged might be wrong, and not just wrong, deliberately oversimplified. Because until Albert Perry, geneticists believed all living men could trace their paternal ancestry to a single common ancestor, the so-called Y chromosome Adam, about 200,000 years ago. But Perry's Y DNA didn't match that family tree. It didn't fall on any known human branch. It was a completely different tree, a newly discovered Y chromosome lineage called a 00, which researchers estimated to be at least 338,000 years old. That number alone changed everything, because anatomically modern humans, according to fossils, didn't even exist 338,000 years ago. So how could a modern black man in America carry a genetic line older than humanity itself? That's the question that made the scientific world stop in its tracks. This wasn't a mutation. This wasn't a fluke. It was a signal. A signal that the oldest DNA on Earth wasn't sitting in a museum. It was living inside a black man in the modern world. And the best part? He didn't even know it. Albert Perry was just a man trying to trace his ancestry like millions of others. He sent in a DNA sample, and in doing so, he unknowingly unlocked the oldest unbroken male lineage ever recorded. Not in a cave, not in a fossil, but in a living, breathing African-American family. And that is just the beginning. So how is it possible? How could Albert Perry, a black man from South Carolina, have DNA that predates every known human civilization? To answer that, we have to look at what scientists call haplogroups. A haplogroup is a genetic family, a group of people who share a common ancestor from thousands of years ago. Most men today fall into familiar haplogroups like E, R, J, or I, but Albert Perry didn't fit into any of those. His Y chromosome belonged to a completely new branch never seen before in a living person. They called it a zero zero, and it's not just rare, it's ancient. According to geneticists, Haplogroup A00 split off from the rest of the human Y chromosome tree over 338,000 years ago, far earlier than the known fossil record of modern humans. Let that sink in. Science says modern humans appeared around 300,000 years ago, based on fossils found in Jebel Irhoud, Morocco. But this man's Y DNA suggests his ancestral line broke off tens of thousands of years before that. In other words, this DNA may come from a pre-human ancestor or an entirely unknown human population. That's not internet gossip. That's from the American Journal of Human Genetics and confirmed by Nature, Live Science and National Geographic. The findings suggest that modern humans may have interbred with an even more ancient lineage of humans in Africa before modern humans moved out of the continent. National Geographic, 2013. Now here's where it gets even deeper. This wasn't some ancient fossil pulled out of a cave in Ethiopia. This wasn't a prehistoric mummy sealed in the desert. This was a living man, an American, a descendant of enslaved Africans, 
and his DNA just shook the foundations of evolutionary science. So why haven't you heard about it? Why wasn't this front page news? Why didn't every school textbook update its history of mankind? Because this discovery didn't fit the narrative. It confirmed something that made the scientific world uncomfortable, that black people carry genetic roots so old, so untouched and so foundational. They can't be explained by mainstream timelines. Albert Perry's DNA wasn't just old. It was outside the known system. So far outside, it forced scientists to go back and redraw the entire family tree of mankind. And he wasn't alone. Soon after, researchers traced similar A00 lineages to isolated populations in Western Cameroon, specifically among the MBO people. This means there are still groups in Africa today, uninterrupted by war, colonization or globalization, who carry the most ancient human code known to science. And here's the twist. Perry's DNA, this ancient marker, made its way across the Atlantic through the horrors of slavery. And it survived. It survived the boats. It survived the auctions. It survived the name changes, the bloodshed, and the silence. And today, it lives in the descendants of people who were once told they were less than human. But their DNA? It proves they were here before anyone. So how could this happen? How could a black man living in South Carolina carry a Y chromosome that's older than every known human being on Earth? Let's break it down. Most men alive today, regardless of race, carry Y chromosomes that fall into a few known genetic families called haplogroups. These are like ancient surnames, passed from father to son, generation after generation. You might have heard of haplogroups like E1B1A, R1B, J or I. These are considered modern by scientific standards, spanning anywhere from 10,000 to 100,000 years old. But Albert Perry? He didn't fit into any of them. When scientists examined his Y chromosome, it didn't just branch off from the others. It branched off before the others even existed. It was part of a completely new, previously unknown genetic lineage. They named it haplogroup A00. And when they tested it, the results didn't just shock. They shattered every timeline in every textbook. Because haplogroup A00 dates back over 338,000 years, that's not just older than expected. That's older than Homo sapiens. And here's the kicker. The oldest human fossils we've ever found, like the 300,000-year-old remains in Morocco, don't predate this. Which means that Albert Perry's Y chromosome is older than science's official record of humanity. Let that hit you. A living, breathing black man from South Carolina carried a genetic marker older than modern humans themselves. It's a lineage that diverged from all others long before humans were thought to exist. Dr. Michael Hammer, University of Arizona. That quote didn't come from a conspiracy website. It came straight from the scientific community and it rocked the foundations of human genetics. They weren't just stunned by how old Perry's DNA was. They were terrified by what it meant because this wasn't a fossil locked away in Africa. This was a black man in America, a descendant of enslaved Africans, whose DNA refused to fit into their neat little boxes, a man whose genetic code forced science to redraw the human family tree, and here's where it gets even deeper. Once Perry's results went public, scientists wanted to know more. They traced the A00 haplogroup back to one specific region in Africa, Western Cameroon, they found other men, still living in remote villages, who carried fragments of this same ancient lineage. It had been hiding in plain sight, untouched, undocumented, uncolonized. These people weren't outliers. They were the root. They weren't missing links. They were living links to a time before time. And the fact that Perry's DNA made its way from Africa to America, through slavery, through trauma, through centuries of oppression, and still survived. That's not just a scientific discovery, that's ancestral power. It means black Americans don't just descend from kings and queens, they descend from the beginning, the original men, the carriers of the world's oldest genetic memory. And that's a truth science didn't want to face, until it had no choice. 
Let's take a moment and really think about what this means. This wasn't just a scientific paper. This wasn't just another genetic test. This was a black man living in the United States carrying a bloodline so ancient that it predated the human race itself. His DNA was so powerful, so unexpected, so out of place in Western science, that researchers didn't even know how to process it at first. And the question becomes, why haven't you heard about this? Why wasn't this on the front page of every newspaper? Why didn't this discovery instantly rewrite the history books? Because it wasn't supposed to. This one test didn't just reveal an ancient genetic lineage. It exposed a truth science has been dodging for generations, that black people don't come from the end of the human timeline. They come from the beginning. Albert Perry wasn't a genetic anomaly. He was evidence. Evidence that Western timelines, built around European discoveries and colonial ideologies, are flawed, if not completely false. Because the oldest human bones weren't found in London or Paris, they were found in Africa. The first DNA, African, the deepest genetic diversity on Earth, still found in sub-Saharan African populations. And yet, when history is taught, it starts with ancient Greece, Rome, or Mesopotamia. It ignores the fact that the African genome is the original hard drive of humanity. All non-African populations carry only a small portion of the diversity found in Africa. Nature, 2011. This isn't theory, this is fact. But here's where it gets spiritual. Because this discovery isn't just about science, it's about memory. DNA is memory. It carries the story of where you come from, coded into your blood, your bones, your skin, your rhythm, your voice. And when Albert Perry took that test, he didn't just trace his family tree, he opened a portal. He connected modern-day black Americans, descendants of the enslaved, the displaced, the erased, directly to the first fathers. The beginning of the human story wasn't lost, it was just buried inside of us. Every time you walk, every time you speak, every time your reflection stares back at you in the mirror, you are proof that they never succeeded in wiping out the truth, because the blood didn't forget, the body didn't forget. The soul didn't forget, and the moment we realize that the world's oldest DNA is not in a lab, but in us, that's when everything changes. Because if they lied about our origins, what else did they lie about? If the foundation of humanity is black, then why were we ever taught to feel like the afterthought? And if Albert Perry was walking around with 338,000-year-old DNA, how many more of us are carrying the same code? How many of us are living libraries of history so deep science hasn't even begun to decode it? They didn't just test a man, they tested a timeline, and what they found rewrote everything. But let's go even deeper. Let's talk about what this really means for every black person alive today, because this isn't just about Albert Perry, this is about you. If one man, living a regular life in South Carolina, can carry a Y chromosome older than modern humanity itself, then how many of us are walking around with untapped origin stories encoded in our bodies? How many of us are unknowingly carrying royal, spiritual, divine DNA? Science couldn't explain Albert Perry's lineage because science was never built to include you. It was built to contain you, to box you in, to measure you by tools that were never meant to capture your fullness. That's why his DNA was seen as a problem, not a gift. Because once you admit that the black genome predates everything, you have to admit that the first architects, the first speakers, the first visionaries, the first storytellers were black. Not black in a cultural sense, not black as in a skin tone, but black in the blood, black in the bone, black in the origin. And if that's true, then every system built on the myth of white supremacy, European dominance and African inferiority begins to crack. Because how do you call someone a slave when their DNA built the planet? How do you call someone primitive when their genome holds more genetic information than anyone else on Earth? Genetic diversity is greatest in Africa, where all humans originated. Box, why we're all African, 2015. They don't want that truth getting out. Because that truth makes the oppressed become the original. That truth turns victims into vessels of memory, that truth turns minorities into the majority of history. 
And here's the most incredible part of all this. Albert Perry didn't discover this about himself until after he died. It was his descendants, the people who shared his blood, who submitted the sample and unknowingly unlocked the beginning of man. That means this legacy didn't end with him. It lives on in his sons, his grandsons, his lineage, his people. And if you're black, that legacy may live in you too. You are not a side note. You are the opening line. You are not what they told you. You are what the earth remembers. Your roots run deeper than bones. Your history is carved in chromosomes and your power is scientific and spiritual. They said we came here in chains, but now they know we came here first. So where does this leave us? A black man from the American South. A DNA test meant for genealogy. And suddenly, the timeline of human history collapses under the weight of a truth too powerful to ignore. His DNA wasn't a mystery. It was a message. A message to every black person who was ever told they were last, that they were actually first. A message to every child taught that Africa was behind, that Africa was always ahead. Because Albert Perry's Y chromosome didn't just stretch back hundreds of thousands of years, it connected the present to the primordial. It said, without apology, we were here before language, before pyramids, before borders, before time had a name. And the world wasn't ready to hear that. Because that means black people are more than descendants of kings and queens. We are descendants of creation itself. Our bloodlines didn't just survive slavery. They survived ice ages, continental shifts, Neanderthals, colonizers, empires, erasure. And still our DNA endures. It remembers what textbooks forget. It carries what history books distort. You are not a remnant. You are not an afterthought. You are the root, the origin, the foundation the proof that humanity began in blackness and still thrives in it. And that's why they went silent when they found Perry's results, because they realized that everything they thought they knew about evolution, race and power was built on shaky ground. And now, now the truth is rising through science, through blood, through you. Because if a black man's DNA can rewrite human history, imagine what yours can unlock. This is not the end of the story. It's the beginning of a revolution a genetic awakening, a reclaiming of everything they said you weren't. And in the next chapter, we're going deeper. Because there's a tribe in Africa whose DNA is even older than Perry's. A forgotten people, still alive today, carrying a genetic code that terrifies scientists. And we're going to expose why that DNA has been quietly buried by global institutions for decades. So subscribe now, because the Chronicles of Blacks is just getting started. And the next truth will shake you even more than this one.